Hi, I'm Ernie. And I'm Ben. I'm Lee. And this is Budget Nerds. It was all in your mind. All right. We have Lee here today. It's on the Budget Nerds. Welcome, Lee. Uh, hey, Lee. Lee reached out. How long ago was it, Ernie? I mean, it's it's, it's been a little while since since two you reached or three out to us. months ago. I think you reached out via email, Lee. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've been I've been viewing you guys for a long, long, long time. So this is this is very trippy to be in one of these rectangles. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, it's I'm awesome glad to, to be have here you. geeking out though. It's awesome to have you. Yeah, we're gonna go over your categories, but we want to hear about your money story and and I want to hear about your dogs and so let, let's just let's let's just get the uh, priorities. Yeah, priorities. Let's, let's get the <laughs> let's get the verbalities out of the way. Tell us about where you live. What's your family situation? All that. Got it. Yeah. So I live in Boston. Uh, with my husband and two dogs. Um, we rent, I guess that would be applicable. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, I've been living here. I, I grew up in um, outside of Chicago um, and made my way out here over the years, pit stop in New York. Okay. Um, and now we have a bunch of family out here. My sister lives out here. My husband's um, sister lives out here. So yeah. Um, we made our jobs work, and now we we live in Boston. You just, you're just hitting like all the US, major U.S. cities. You're like Chicago, New I York. Know. Boston. You seem to go move to LA <laughs> well, for a while. Know, <laughs> you got it all. I, <laughs> I say these big cities, but really, I I like grew up on the outskirts oh, sure, of all of them, sure. and I just use them. Yeah, as, you don't like, they say like yeah. the random name of your town that nobody knows. No, <laughs> yeah, no. exactly, exactly. Uh, tell me about your dogs. So, what kind of dogs do you have? I have um, two miniature dachshunds, oh, dachshunds, oh, not dosh hounds. Oh, okay. Um, okay. <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. Everyone, like, it's so cute. Everyone gets a name all wrong. Um, uh, they're um, amazing. I'll send you guys a picture. Maybe you can overlay yes, it on this. Please. But um, they're, like, just, they're the only kids I need. So <laughs> Love it. Yeah. And we were talking about this beforehand. We mentioned you and your husband, a couple of dinks. But yeah. you said that there's another <laughs> there, acronym that includes dogs. <laughs> there is, and I didn't look it up, but there, there's something like double income, no kids with dogs. And there's a way to say it, and I don't, I'm not sure how to how to do that. We'll have to look that up. <laughs> yeah, if you don't point. know what dinks are, it's double income, no kids. It sounds like a mean word for some reason. <laughs> I know. Offensive. I know right? I've seen offensive somehow. I don't know why, but it's it's a nice word. It just means yes. double income, no kids. And yeah, there's something with dogs. If you know what it is in the comments let us know <laughs> but i'm really excited for this lee because we've had gabby on before gabby was talking through categories and you're just in a different situation you and your husband uh, than gabby with kids I, I forget if gabby had pets or not but lived in the midwest and so now just different situation different circumstances and we get to dive into your categories and see how you and your husband are prioritizing things yep yeah yeah, no, Gabby was what actually prompted me to reach out to you guys nice. um, because I loved her episode. Um, and I, I think it's so cool when people, I, I grew up, I'm, about, I'm 38, um, and I grew up in a time when no one, everything was secret around money. Mm. No one talked about how much they made or there was no conversation about finances and budgets. And right. um, I think we're changing. Uh, so I love to be a part of this openness um, and anything I can do to help because I was in a situation where there wasn't much content for the way I budget mm-hmm. and 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 looking at the budget. I look at it in a totally different way, perhaps. Um, and there wasn't a lot of content. I think Nick True had like one thing on, um, you know, higher income right. uh, budgeters and the importance of that. But um, there wasn't much, including you guys. Yeah. So yeah, we, here I we am. We didn't talk about so, it a whole lot. And, and no. it's, it's funny. I remember a while back we, we posted a blog. It was like... It was like managing money with a high income. And it was, and I, I remember thinking like, oh, this is, people are going to want to see this. But it was like huge, like tons of people were really, really interested in it. Yeah. So yeah. I, there's definitely more space for, for talking about this. And I think some people are curious too. If you're like, you yeah, know, if, totally. if you don't have a side income, you're like, oh, what's it, what's, what's it like? You know? A little voyeurism. It's yeah. Fine, yeah. You know? <laughs> I mean, that's why everybody loves talking about categories. Yeah, totally. It's like, oh, wait, like, because you're right. We don't talk about our finances. And no. so it's just nice when somebody's like, hey, I'm just going to open it all up for you. I mean, we yep. don't necessarily have to talk about numbers, but like we can talk about the categories and all that and really totally. dig in and talk about your money story. So it's fun. Yeah. I love it. Well, let's just start. Well, actually, actually, 
you sent over screenshots and I did. right away I noticed your categories and groups are so insanely clean. Yes. yes. They have hey. a single emoji at the front and yes. all of your category names are like the same length. Okay. It's, it's so, really weird. Yeah, right. <laughs> I, you know, I, I don't think I could put my finger on it, but I noticed that it was clean, but that's why. They're like the same. I, I yeah. felt that peace. Like instantly I just was calmed nice. by yes. looking at Lee's categories. Nice. I love to be very zen when I budget okay. and very clean and simple. Like I'll go, I'll, the pendulum swings, right? So I'll mm -hmm. go crazy and then be like, eh, let's come back down <laughs> to center here. Like this, 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 this <laughs> you don't need to split all these transactions. Like you're good. Um, so that is not um, necessarily on purpose. However, okay. when you're scrolling down the page mm -hmm. and there's one category that's twice as long as the other ones, that's a no-go for me. I see. Yeah. There can be like totally you know, right. some variance in it, but but like I I, I gotta have and I I support emojis completely. Um, but I've seen some budgets where I'm <laughs> keep it chill, oh keep it chill. Oh my god. I can't, <laughs> Do not like I can't, my, my fixed ends. bills I, expenses that every category that has like five emojis. <laughs> I don't I can't I don't wanna like spell out a sentence in emojis. <laughs> that's like where I limit it, you know. I just wanna like one there, kind of symbol for what this sort of well, is. Well, I always you respected know? Ernie previously until he blew up his budget recently, but right, until uh where he had only emojis on the category group names. I'm like, I, re I can respect that because it gets a little cluttered, you know, it gets a little crazy. So like, yeah, but, but now you got emojis on every category or any, you, you went, yes. I do. Yeah. So, and what you haven't seen, which I've recently added is emojis to my account list. Ooh. So that was, that's new. And I, I think I kind of like it. And honestly, the way I do it, yeah, it kind of colors up your, you know, the budget, which is otherwise just text. Um, but also like when you're scrolling quickly through your transactions, it just, it's a, it's an image that pops mm -hmm. up and I you agree. immediately know you're like, Oh, that's what that category is. I don't even read it anymore. I just look at the emojis. Yeah. So for me, it's super important. It's a thing. It's a thing. Yeah. All right. Well, let's get into them. Start right at the top. Just work your way down and we'll stop and ask questions along the yeah. way. Yeah. And maybe you could work in like your, your money story as you go. So that I think we'll, oh. we'll dig into uh, all the details of like how you got there as we go. So we'll get there. Yeah, totally. Um, so I guess the best way to start would be just my budget structure is pretty simple, mm -hmm. honestly. It's like, I guess I'd say it's about a four part budget. So it's goals, um, wants, needs, and then I'll mention it. Be I don't know if we're going to get into it, but I also have a, um, a, a group that is transfers because I like to offset things through months. I hate having positive spending in my reports. Oh, so I'll like offset okay. all of like big expenses. Obviously if someone reimburses me for restaurants, there's always going to be spending in restaurants. So that'll just go straight into that. But um, that's basically my, my setup. And there are a few you've, you'll see as we go through that I've kind of broken out because they're just beasts like mm -hmm. um, food and drink. I spend so much money on food that it just needs to kind of have its own grouping. <laughs> right. Um, and the same with our cars. Um, my husband is German, loves his cars. Nice. And uh, so, you know, he, he goes, plays at the track and like all sorts of stuff. So, so those two are kind of split out because mm -hmm. they don't really have, and we'll, you'll see as we go through it, but they don't really have, um, they're not quite needs, they're not quite wants, right. they're, the, they're, that they're whole, that kind that of, whole yeah, the gray, kinda, I hate. It's, it doesn't, <laughs> it's, there's things that don't quite fit, you know, it's tricky sometimes. Oh, yeah. We're getting into the gray because I feel like that's the fun part about budgeting mm -hmm. is like all oh, this kind of gray and like it, it, it's so personal and it's such a reflection of, your life's priorities. It sounds really corny to say, but like your budget is your life. Your life mm -hmm. is your. I mean, it's it's all how you prioritize your life and um, how you organize your life. To be honest with you, so um, and it changes all the time. I mean, I I sent you ver like you know a few months ago what my my categories are, and now they're different. Yeah. So <laughs> you know, yeah. I'm always I experimenting, can always changing. Yeah. Well, so what brought you to YNAB? Since we're we're beginning to talk about priorities and whatnot. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll try and keep it short. Um, but I'll give you the, the full story. So full story is I grew up, I, without much money worry. Um, unlike my husband who, who, who went through like a kind of a, a tricky time. He has an immigrant story. He came over, um, with the, the great recession. Okay. 
And there's more of that with him, and we can maybe get into that if we talk about um, budgeting with a partner and all that. But um, I didn't have that many, which was honestly to my my detriment because it wasn't none of it was ingrained. It was just kind of uh, everything will be fine. Everything will be fine. And that's kind of the way I lived. And um, I graduated college. I ca- or I, I came out in college, which was a was a, a tough time for mm-hmm. me. And um, as therapy, I spent. Without a budget. Right. So I just kind of got into this, not like super, I wasn't like, you know, it wasn't like super crazy, but uh, some credit card debt and like all this kind of stuff. And my cash flow was okay, so I could make it through. Um, but then I met my husband and I'm like, oh, got to get real. Right. Got to be an adult. <laughs> There's another person gotta, involved now. <laughs> I have to do something about this because I don't want him, like, eventually we're going to have to have this conversation mm-hmm. and I don't want to be like, eh, I don't know what I'm doing. And um, so I did not come to YNAB first. I went to Mint because I had dabbled in Mint before. Mm-hmm. Um, and to Mint's credit, I hate Mint, but like to Mint's credit, <laughs> it got me out of it. Honestly, it got me out of it. I okay. linked up my accounts. Um, I, I could start to see like, mm, lay off that Starbucks. Like that's not where you want your money to go. But it was always retroactive. Mm-hmm. So I, I couldn't, I could be like, well, I could judge myself. Right. But I couldn't like really fix it's it. Like, oh, so you messed up again. Try better <laughs> next time, I guess. You know, <laughs> there's not like a and lot I, you can do about it. <laughs> exactly. And I'm an Excel guy. Like I love. I work in Excel. I live in Excel. I, can tell I do you're all my a math in nerd. Excel. I could just tell. <laughs> so <laughs> I knew it quickly. Mint was um, just not sufficient. Mm. I needed more. Ma- I needed more malleability. Right. I needed more flexibility. I needed to renaming those categories forget it like i just like <laughs> no like i and i didn't want to like right. i didn't i didn't want to fit into their mold i didn't want to fit into their mold so then i started kind of um looking around came to YNAB. honestly not love at first sight okay i came to YNAB and i was like this is great because i can kind of make it but it was kind of mind-blowing and i i, I think that's yes. why i didn't love it at first because i'm kind of like I mean, Wait, I was the same. What? Yeah. It doesn't make sense. Everything is not what I... So you're, the customer service at YNAB is just uh, absolutely yeah. amazing people. Nice. And they they really helped me through a bunch of this stuff and like kind of reconceptualizing the way I thought about money and uh-huh. the way I spent money and, and, and all of that. And I mean... You know, why not? I mean, everyone says it who, who gets into it, but like it totally changed my life. Wow. Completely mm-hmm. changed my life. Um, and I, it's the reason why I like talk about it with my friends, why I've gotten all my, like a bunch of my friends on YNAB, um, because it's, it's more than just the thing that you open up on your computer. Mm. It really starts to work its way into your life. Yeah, totally. And, um, so when I, when I married my husband, I'm like, oh, now we have to plan for goals. Like I never, when I was single and young, I was just like, eh, goals, like I'll get there someday. The 20s you know, just it's, a blur. <laughs> but now it's just like completely been able to refocus on my priorities. Mm. Um, okay. and that's, you know, that's kind of my money journey. Yeah. So. I love that. Cause it's like, you're just like, I just want to change the name of my categories. And that's what brought it to you. And you're like, okay, and we're you. like, okay, how about you could change the name of categories, but how about we also completely retransform your relationship with money, <laughs> right? Exactly. <laughs> right. Exactly. And so, you know, uh, there, there, and I, I, I love wine up so much that like I have a list of, of the things that I, I, you know, just in preparation for this, but like a list of things that I don't love so much and a list of things I do. And it's only because I just, love it so much that, and I'm in it, like in all of the details, I'm always trying to break it. In fact, (laughs) I feel like I have broken it a few times and I've reached out to customers. I'm like, you're the first one. I love it. You're the first (laughs) one who's, who's done that. I'm like, yes. Um, (laughs) That's your goal. You're the first one to just, (laughs) to try something. Well, we're going to get into all of it because I mean, because you were, you were talking about your transfers category group and you're like, I don't know if we'll get into it. I'm like, Oh, we're getting into it, Lee. Because <laughs> there, there's things that, like, you know, we might not advise a brand new wine ever to do, but this is yeah. budget nerds. We can talk about all of this. Yep, so. <laughs> totally. I mean, I not to brag, but this is. I, I feel like I'm a pretty advanced wine oh, yeah. Like I, I, I know I, I love this thing. I love this thing. I think it's a tab that's always open. I work remotely. Uh-huh. I just keep a tab open, and 
Yeah. I, I zoom over there way too much. Way too much. I hope, no, I hope no coworkers are watching me right now. I'm just staring at the budget. <laughs> yes. yep. Yep. Or just like, I mean, you, I know you all do this too, but like you open up the mobile one and you're just like constantly refreshing. You're like, nothing is happening. <laughs> nothing is happening. Nothing is, nothing is changing. Yep. Like carry yep. on. <laughs> I, was, uh, I was working so. in a library um, back when I first started using YNAB. And it was wind up four days, so it was a downloadable software. And like, I think, I, but I wanted it on my work computer mm. so bad. And like, but like, you couldn't do it. And like, I, I like worked around weird firewalls to download the software <laughs> on my computer. And so I just, just so I could have it up next to me all day for no mm-hmm. particular reason. <laughs> so I'm right oh, there. No, for, for it's, right it's probably okay. Not one healthy. last detail before we get that. into the categories. Okay. Yeah, you and Max share a budget. One budget. Okay. Yep. Okay. Mm-hmm. One budget. Excellent. Yep. Income comes into one checking account and gets dispersed. That's how we. Honestly, that that could be an entire subject. Oh, yeah. It totally could be. I mean, thing. it's so good because, like, I talk about this with couples all the time. Like, I'm so curious how couples budget mm-hmm. because I think how you budget is also like it sets up it sets up good things and bad things in your life. Um, and like for for us, it just. It makes everything very egalitarian. He makes more money than I make. Um, But we don't, like, none of us are really frivolous. I don't have, a like, a handbag obsession. So I'm not out (laughs) spending thousands of dollars on hand. You know, so, like, we don't really. So for us, it's, like, pool it together, maximize your retirement accounts, and then, you know, we we love each other and we want to be together for the rest of our lives, right? So let's just yep. plan for that. Yeah. Um, and so that's kind of the way we do it, and it really works for us. There's no, there's no like, well, you spent that on this, or you spent that like, or that's my money, or there's just it, that all melts away. Um, and it's it's been great. So. Okay, I'm so curious about this. One last question, mm-hmm. then we'll get yeah. in your. <laughs> yeah, yeah no, we've been Keep teasing on. the people. It, We're gonna get into the category. Sorry, <laughs> soon, guys. But I'm it, sure they love has it. Has it always been that way? Always just one checking account, or did you experiment with separate? Um, with YNAB, it's always been one. Actually, we did that pretty quickly yeah. in our okay. relationship. Um, not before we got married. We kind of waited till. You know, the ring was on our fingers, yeah, kind of thing. Before we we, anyway, folks we did a joint checking account. Um, yeah, I I don't know Max's relationship with um, the budget and finances. He loves, he's an attorney, um, and he loves having like an overview. So we also I have all of our accounts linked up to personal capital just because it gives me an investment lens, mm-hmm. um, and he prefers that, and okay. he's like do the budget yeah, I, yeah, yeah. like i trust you you seem to be obsessed with it you just go do that <laughs> um and like it'll he knows the structure like i i walk him through he's more of like a he likes to look back which is like i hate that right like, normally our budget things are like hey look at all this stuff and like all this moving forward and he's like why did we spend that much on that Back in that random, like, don't worry about like, it. Don't worry about that. And then we get into a fight, <laughs> and I'm like, over. and then let's not talk. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, um, but like in 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 personal capital, it does give you all your transactions. So he sees like everything is super transparent. Mm-hmm. He just doesn't get into the nitty gritty of this totally, stuff. Totally. So got it. Yeah, and uh, you know, I say to people all the time, like a lot of people are like, oh, I feel like I've been using Wynab for a year, and I've only really been tracking. Like that's a thing in a lot of people's journeys. Like they'll use Wynab for a while, and they're. You're just tracking and covering over spending. And I'm like, you know, don't beat yourself up about that because that there is a lot of value in that. It's better than than yep. just not paying attention at all, you know. Totally. Uh, it's better. I mean, that was half that was half of the battle with mint. Was like, mm-hmm. well, yeah. at least it's telling me where my money yeah, is going. It's not nothing. It really makes a difference. Yep. But it, you know, there's something that you know, there's something that shifts when you start planning ahead too. So totally. Yeah. And shifts in your life. Yeah. It's just like this amazing thing. I mean, it's just unbelievable. So, mm-hmm. um, but yeah. And, and weirdly right. like less guilt, I, I think, because totally. you could feel more free to spend because you planned it out instead of like, Oh, I spent so much on coffee. I feel terrible with myself. It know? empowers your spending, mm-hmm. right? Like it, it makes you be like, well, can we afford to do that? Like it, it allows these dreams to happen. Yeah, like so much happens. It comes in. Yeah, and, yeah I, it's, totally. Yeah, so it, it's good, but there's there's better. There's better out there. <laughs> yes. <you know>? yes. <laughs> All right. 
Are we ready? Let's get into it. 20 ready? minutes in. It's <laughs> Hold on. Let's do so it. Right. Good. Oh, I'm glad we got into the this. story before because that was <laughs> so greatly. I loved hearing about that. So it's great. Okay. Let's start. Okay. So start I kind of started yeah, like yeah, yeah. the overview, right? Right. Needs, wants, goals. Yep. Um, so I guess we can go through the way I organize it in the budget. Okay. Um, so the first one I sent to you guys was, or the first one in my budget is assets and goals. Um, the category group. And this is really, so like everything underneath this is like raw spending. It's like you spend it at a restaurant, it's gone. It, the mm -hmm. money is not coming back to you in any way. But I needed it to be, and I, I get that investment spending is still spending in YNAB. Mm -hmm. That was hard for me to conceptualize <laughs> at first, but it is a thing. now totally into it. But I still feel the need to keep these separate it's a different kind of spending it's it it's it's hopefully stuff it. obviously it's stuff that you want to come back and it's also because we're lucky enough to have pretty good cash flow so um most of our priorities are in this category those are like you know everything else gets funded um maybe you overspend maybe you spend too much or whatever but everything else gets funded and then what's left bubbles up to this top category and okay. you either meet these goals or you're like, well, we didn't invest as much as we wanted to this year because we spent way too much in restaurants, um, something like that. So that's what this category group is, um, is, is designed for. Um, the first one is savings fund. So much debate. So much <laughs> debate over how the flow of this works. For me, I like to have, um, I don't know if we're going to talk about targets in this, but I, targets are essential oh, please, please. for, okay. for <laughs> everything that I do in the budget. Savings fund um, really is, it's never spent. It's just an accumulation of a saving balance target. Okay. And I put how much cash I want to have on hand as the goal. Okay. And I always, and I budget yearly. So I budget, like I look at January, build out my templates in January, for the whole year. Interesting, okay. That way, that nice pacing bar just looks great. It's like super accurate and all that kind of stuff. So I do the whole year and adjust, you know, like if, sure. if I start the year based on kind of last year's income and sort of build my kind of best guess, safe, conservative. And then as the year progresses, that template might change. I might be able to increase it. I might have to decrease it, mm -hmm. that kind of stuff. But I start in January with a template. And savings fund is a savings builder flat amount. But what's cool about it is that if I go below it ever, it will remind me to top it off right, again. Right. And it'll split it up into the remaining months. So if I go, if I, you know, have a huge tax bill uh, and I have to eat into my, my savings fund, mm -hmm. um, for lack of a better term, then it'll just start saying, well, you need to start investing if you want to hit this, this goal at a flat number um, to January or to, to, to December. And then just spread it out for me. Okay. Um, which it makes it a whole lot less stress yeah. than being like, well, you just spent all this. Now put it back quickly, you know? Right. Um, it kind of evens out. Like instead of getting, like you mentioned, the big tax bill, instead of like taking all the hit right now, it's like, okay, I, because I have the savings accumulated, I can pay it back over time to myself. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And and it, for me, it's savings fund amount is always, it's like kind of my emergency fund. I used to call it, I've called this thing so many things, cash <laughs> yeah, holding, emergency <laughs> fund. I hated open my budget and seeing emergency there. So I was uh, like, no, yeah, one okay. day of that, that, I'm like, right no, I don't want to read thing. emergency. Yeah, no, that's no, no, no. <laughs> so savings felt right. I know that it, it has no relation to my savings account. I do have a checking and savings account. Um, just because it's the difference between 0.001 interest and 5% interest. Yep. So mm -hmm. I, I manage the cash flow in my checking and keep that just as low as I can. And then any extra goes into savings, scheduled transactions, one of my favorite things in YNAB, <laughs> and allows me to kind of look into the future of like where my checking account balance is and always keep it. And then I just manage trend, um, uh, transfers between my checking and savings account, depending on if I spent, you know, whatever comes in and needs to be funded. Have you considered prudent reserve as a name? <laughs> because that's what, <laughs> that's what I call I, my emergency fund, essentially. And that's I, um, I feel like it, it works. I don't know. <laughs> I used to call it cash reserves. 
Okay. So okay. cash reserves, cash only. Because to me, honestly, why not? It's a cash management. It's just, mm-hmm. it's an yes. overlay on top of your cash. That's all it is. That's all it is. That's all it is. Yeah. You know, and I, I love that. I love that. So, um, so yeah, that's my first category. Oh, <laughs> yeah. We're in, we're in for it. <laughs> we're, we're in for it. Um, okay. So the second one is, are, are we good? With that one, we, yeah. we might come back to that yeah, the way if we're talking about targets, but like, you know, we can always that, that one honestly is very important. It's the barometer mm. of like where my, where I'm spending. Right, right. Um, you know, it, it, it always ends up coming down to that category of like, are you and it's more like, than what you want? It's like security or? for you is what it sounds yeah. like. It's like having yes. that, that, I mean, I, I, I won't say emergency, but it's, <laughs> that's, I guess that's really what it is. And it's yeah. just, and you look at that, you're like, I'm going to be okay if, if I have this, right? And I don't. I, I love when wine averages get really nitty gritty into their categories, and they split it out into like a gajillion thing. Like, I, like whatever is easy for 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 them. But for me, it's just much easier to keep it super simple mm-hmm. and have this one thing be the barometer instead of being like, mm. well, like how much mm. do you think I'll need for this? Or like, there's something to that. Eh. Yeah. yeah. It, it just. I'd rather have that chunk there. Then and and kind of spend to it and then be like, oh wow, ooh, we're we're really not doing great this year, because there's there's otherwise there's not a super elegant way in YNAB. This is one of my complaints, I think, of not spending more than you have. Like it, you can do it. Uh-huh. You can like I do it. I put a template in, but templates are kind of hard. Um, and like mm-hmm. so so for me, this is the that's the barometer. Yeah, yeah, gotcha, Got it. gotcha. Okay, mm-hmm. and then. Um, so the second one is retirement. This one is very specific. Um, this is our tax advantaged accounts. Mm-hmm. 401k. Specifically H- HSA, mm-hmm. IRA. We have to do a backdoor Roth. Mm-hmm. So we put it into a traditional, roll it into a Roth account. Um, and then our 401ks. That's it. And we max those out. That's awesome. like number one priority. Nice. Um, and the target on that is just whatever the maximum amount on um, those accounts that's going up this year again um, for, for 2024. And so that's my target. And it flows because like obviously some of that income and we could maybe talk about this as well, but I, I track all pre-tax income. I don't go crazy. I don't track taxes. <laughs> I don't do that. Yeah, there but are people I that put wanna... like their gross paycheck amount no, and split it out. <laughs> no, 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 no. I can't. I can't do that. But it is that is earnings. That that is money I have made. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's a little bit different, right? It hasn't been taxed. It's going to be taxed later, perhaps, or something like that. Um, but it's important for me to know that. And also, if I put uh, pre-tax income in my budget, I can use targets. To get to those numbers and then all mm. i have to do is follow that pacing thing and be like oh i've got to bump my 401k up because i'm not going to hit you know the maximum this year or whatever it is and i have to spread mine out because i get a match my my husband does not get a match oh, so he can just yeah. basically pay it all in the first month right. um, if he wanted to but i have to like go all the way to the end of the year right. to get the five percent match thing so, right oh, so that's interesting thanks, so you thanks. do put you i know we're on the second category so <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be the longest one this is going to be the longest i will, will be the be longest one you know i always say i always am like we're, we're always like oh man i wish it, we, i'm sorry we got so long but everybody is like we love it go as long as you want so who cares? Mm-hmm. um but i brought my coffee so you, <laughs> so you have a category on that you said like you you go by like the year so do you do like a a yearly needed for spending for the like the full amount or how do you handle that um or do you break it into a monthly amount or do you remember i do not break it into a monthly okay. amount i let YNAB break it into a monthly yeah, amount for me because so you have this I weird do... thing going on where you're like your husband puts all of it in at once and you yeah out. i mean he kind of he just does it he just does a, a flat 10 percent, and it, it just ends whenever it ends kind of thing right, right. um and then i have to kind of manage it throughout and it like if i if i don't there'll be a yellow bubble being like you didn't like, but that's okay because I'm kind of managing it through. There's some things like funding your IRA that comes out of my checking account. That's right. easy, right? But some of this other stuff, it's like, well, I have to turn it up. Takes two weeks to flow through the system and like all that. So mm-hmm. it just is like a thing that I can I can watch and be like, okay, well, we're nearing, we're in the th- we're in the fourth quarter. Eh, you're kind of behind. Like, how do something about that? Yeah, I like that. Thing. That's interesting. Okay, yeah. 
And then do you track those investment accounts, the 401 in YNAB? Oh, I know you bet. Oh, you <laughs> bet. Okay, well, he's doing personal capital. <laughs> That's true. You're right? doing that. It, it, do. You're kind of doubling your efforts a little bit there. but it, Personal okay. capital is just like a pretty thing to look at. Yeah. It's okay. not functional. Pretty you know, crap. like it's, it's, oh, yeah. it's cool to look at your holdings and that kind of stuff. Yeah, and compare and, against and, the and whatever. And yeah, that totally. Kind of yeah. But I like pop in there once a week or something and yeah. kind of look Where's at it and make sure that. a little more often. Yeah, he looks a little bit more often at that. Yeah. Um, and, um, the, uh, what were we just talking about? This is going to happen to me the all the time. tracking accounts. Oh yeah. Yeah. Tracking right. accounts. Yeah. So I do have all my accounts set up, all of okay. them. And I mean, including the value of our cars. Like oh, I yeah. have property. Okay. Yes, I track, I mean, I, so I'm not crazy about reconciling. Okay. We can get into reconciling about, I do reconcile once a quarter for tracking. Yeah, that's good. Never reconcile budgeting accounts. You guys are going to oh. tweet out. Oh, okay. Wow. <laughs> that, that actually well, never. Shocks me. Shocks I me. don't like it when that lock is on there oh, and those reminders come up that you are about to change the universe. Oh, right. Yeah. When <laughs> and, you, that is true. When you end the reconciled and transaction, like, no, it's like, you're going to die. And I'm like, I know what I'm doing. Oh, I, man. I like second guess myself every time. <laughs> yeah, I know. Every mean. time. Know I'm like, mean. oh, what? But you do, um, well, you, it sounds like you do make sure the balance matches. Oh, totally. So you're, yeah, yeah. And you're I, just I, not using I, the reconciling a, feature, you know? So, correct. Yeah. yeah and, and, and the way I do it is, so I have linked accounts. All my accounts are linked. And I use the pending as mm -hmm. like kind of the, the first step. Yeah. And then um, when it's cleared, that's reconciled to me. Right. And then I'll go every so often and compare my, my credit card account and all of that stuff and sometimes dig around for a cent that American Express gave back to me two months ago and I didn't know that it came through <laughs> right. or something like that. Stuff happened. Like that yeah. And I'm like, I don't know what that one cent is, but they just gave me one cent. Great. Thanks for that. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I do, I do track everything. Okay. Um, and I do reconcile quarterly all my tracking accounts. Some of it I, I reconcile yearly. Like we have a, a cash value account, which is like a health insurance kind of situation. And I do that once a year. I do the, the the cars once a year. I don't get too crazy about that. I just kind of quickly look and see what the value is and just make a round number and that's it for, for okay. that. But I do, I used to break out dividends and fees and now I'm like, oh God, that was one of the pendulum swings, you know? Um, and now I'm like, just, it's all wrapped in. Just give me the net. Just give me the net reconciled account balance. I'm good. That's all I need. Mm -hmm. um, Excellent. So yeah, anyway. Should we keep going? Yeah, let's do let's it. Let's go. Investments. <laughs> Investments. Okay, so th so that's all. Retirement was all like tax advantage accounts. Investments are all taxable. Right. So for the 2.5 seconds that I invested in cryptocurrency, that was <laughs> through here. Um, you, just, you, just get, and, you don't, don't want to feel like you're going to miss out, man. Like, <laughs> no, literally, literally. That's what it is. Literally. It is. Literally. I'm like, well, everyone's making so much money. I, what's going on? It seems I don't know. like everyone's making so much money. Oh, man. Yeah, so true. Um, so true. I, I felt that. I, I, but but mostly this is like our big, or like our joint um, investment account that we that we put money into. So that that's... That's the majority of, of, of what that is. And these are probably in order of priority as well. It's always important for me to have kind of my cash savings be that be an, around that number or attainable kind mm -hmm. of. And then retirement is always 100%. And then investments is kind of like, that's my flex priority. So it's like, well, right. if you spent too much, then that that doesn't get funded as much, I see. you know? Okay, yeah, that's that's that's, that's why you break it out because it's like yep. one is definitely we're going to get there and the other is like, yeah, it's, if we don't get there, it's, it's okay. Correct. And, yep. and I'm curious, is there a retirement age you're working towards? Um, We, I think about retirement in a really different way. I don't mm. think I'm ever going to stop working. Right. It's not like my parents were like, yeah, I, I think we, got, we, we learned from our, or I did at least, where they like work their whole life don't really invest much into their happiness along the way. And then they get to retirement and they're like, what do we, what do we even like? Right. So we're, we're more of the, like, we're, we're in our money making years right now. Make that, make the money, mm -hmm. stow it away, do the bud, like do these things. Um, and then, you know, we, we can, I think our thought would be to kind of like take a pay cut and have a little right. bit more balance sure. rather than just being like, well, 
see you work, we're done. Yeah, you know? yeah. totally. And I think that's so, true of most people. I mean, like kind of wind down. Yeah, yeah. And know? it's more like yep. just you can do what you want. You can work as much as you want. Uh, it's more about yeah. freedom. Yeah. yeah, totally. Yeah, I had to ask because generally, you know, if, if someone is aggressively saving for retirement, I think generally the storyline is the fire thing. Fire thing right. Yeah. They're trying to mm-hmm. retire at 25, you know, 30 <laughs> years old. So I, I, I 30 years old. <laughs> 38. <laughs> I don't have that kind of goal. Mm -mm. Yeah, got it. We have a lot of fun along the way. So it's not like I need to suffer Mm -hmm. for, you know, 15 years and, and, and spend no money anywhere else just so that I can like completely retire that it, that's not for me. Yeah, I hear you. But, but Hey, if you can do it, good for you. (laughs) Good for you. Um, okay. So then so weirdly, life insurance is here. And the reason why life insurance is here is that I actually track it. It's like I said, it's a um, a cash value account. So there's like this dual benefit for those who don't know what this is. Mm-hmm. Basically, you have the benefit of life insurance. So if my partner dies, there's a payout for that. Um, but also there's a cash value account. It's like a really crappy savings account mm-hmm. rate thing mm-hmm. that they just make it feel like you're doing a little bit more with your right. life insurance kind of thing. But, you know, it's a, he had it before we were married, um, and it's a sizable account, so I just track it and, like I said, reckon until it looks yeah. here. So that's why that's in here. Okay. I, I don't know all the details, but, like, you know, for most folks, it's like, uh, you know, stay out of cash value. But, like, but when you have a certain income, I think there is a moment where it actually does benefit you. I'm not sure all the details of that, but there is, there is a point where it, yeah. it makes sense. There are many years in the beginning when you first sign on to a uh, cash value policy where you're you're taking a loss. Mm-hmm. And then like at some point it switches over into a positive gain and they pay out, I can't remember what they call it, I, some stupid marketing thing, but like <laughs> basically they pay out interest on it. Right, um, right. And it's it's decent. It's like a 3% or 4% interest, but yeah, yeah. yeah. I kind of hate, I kind of hate But it's there uh, for life before. insurance. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I get it, I get it's it. It's there. It's there. <laughs> I get it. Um, so yeah, that's that's those are my assets and goals. Um, any any questions? Anything I didn't cover I on think that we one? Covered everything. Anything else, Ernie? Yeah, I I love it. I that was great. I love that we well. Cool. I, I love that we got into your accounts there. You know, this is how it happens. You start talking about categories. You talk about everything. So I'm trying to keep it tight, though. I'm trying to uh, like get it'll, back. It'll, like, go I'm, like, it'll go faster. No worries. <laughs> um, okay, so then the next category group is discretionary. I put this second because it's it's where all the flexibility is in my budget. Mm-hmm. It's where all the the fun spending is. It's where all kind of like we'll get we'll get into all of it. But um, I it's it's I like to have it underneath this just because it kind of allows me to check in on these things because mm-hmm. the other ones you'll see. This is what you need to keep an eye on more than anything. Yeah. Else. yeah, this is where you where you're like, well, you don't need to take that vacation. Like you're probably pretty good, you know. <laughs> right. That kind of th- those conversations happen in here. The other the other categories you'll see don't. There's not much um, in terms of flexibility. Right. Right. Yeah. And the first is like the first group was like these are the things I want to keep an eye on because I, I have these big goals I want to make. And this is more like I need to keep an eye on it because I'm actually making behavior changes based on the those numbers. Correct. Yeah. yeah. Because it all it all funnels up at the end of the day into my top priorities. Mm-hmm. So whatever I don't spend is going straight up there into those goals. Yeah. So yeah. All right. Um, okay, so the first one is entertainment alphabeticalized. Oh, all right. I was <laughs> yeah, going to ask. Yeah, 100%. You, have, you do have that. 100%. One. I see that. Oh, as, yeah. As the library, there was, I love it. So, I did <laughs> the whole, library. oh, I spend most on this one, but then it changed year over year. And I'm like, I, no, just do alphabetical <laughs> yeah. and be done with it. Yeah. Um, so the first one is entertainment. Okay. Um, and the best way I can kind of describe what this one is, um, is you're passively taking in something. A oh, comedy oh show, a concert, uh, HBO mm. subscription. You're sitting on your your couch. You're you're taking it in as entertainment, mm-hmm. um, as opposed to like some of the other ones you'll see that are like more a little bit more active or like you're participating. I love of course that you can, distinction. That's super. Yeah, I like yeah. that. Yeah, you can. I mean, of course, you can be like dancing like a crazed man at a concert and get a ton of <laughs> exercise. But like, basically, you're and you're receiving, you're, you're consuming the you're, entertainment. Exactly, yeah. you're, it, it's coming into you, and you're you're just passively taking it in. So, um, that's that's what that one is. Uh, fitness and sports. I I'm actually in the process of getting my yoga teacher training just oh, because I've done it. yoga for 20 years and um, I I love it. It's a really important part of my life. I don't really know if I want to teach, but 
um, the whole process of, go of going through that. So that's been a, a big funding thing um, in this category uh, this year. But it's also our gym membership. Mm -hmm. It's if um, I run a race, any of that kind of stuff um, that's like physical, like purposeful physical exertion um, rather than just being like, you know, I mean, we'll talk about recreation and leisure in a, in a second, but it's, it's like the purpose of what you're doing is to sweat. Right. Kind of thing. <laughs> I feel um, like anybody who does yoga and gets into it enough eventually gets some kind of certification. <laughs> it's, I, it's like, I don't, I don't know if I want to teach, but I have to do this. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <enjoy> totally. <laughs> um, and then, uh, so yeah, so that's, that's that one. Um, the next one is I, I call good karma. Hmm. I had this like, oh my gosh, I, I don't want to get into my journey of like how I got to all of these. I mean, but I want. used to, I, well, I used to, so I used to budget not in this style. I used to budget in YNAB in uh, like, here's your home and here's your mm -hmm. good, you know, good karma as a group, you know, and then you break out like political donations and, okay. and uh, charitable contributions and, you know, if some big tip or something comes through or something like right. that. I'm like, I don't care about distinct Real like distinguishing specific. between all those so kind of how i got to this budget was like i had it all broken out i'm like no just put that in I'll one category up. call it a thing and you know I love and then the in my reports <laughs> it, then in my reports it's super clean too so i can i can just go and 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 look at my report and be like wow you spent a lot in discretionary what's going on there you know uh -huh. that kind of thing um so yeah, good karma, political don donations. If I if I do any of those, I don't know why I'm even saying that. And then um, uh, my my sister runs a, ch a nonprofit, so I I do we donate to that. If I don't split out restaurant tips and all of that and put it in here, but if I had to pay out a big tip for something like that, might go in there. Mm -hmm. um, I my my husband and I are big sailors. We watch these sailing YouTube videos, mm -hmm. and I get on Patreon and. Donate like five dollars a video. Kind of, it yeah, goes in yeah. here, you know. That kind of, okay. My NPR recurring membership goes right in here, kind of okay. thing. So, yeah, yeah. Um, it's just anything where it's like goodwill and like you know. Yeah, and it's nice to have some spreading. money for that. So like, if you set money aside for it, then you can be more generous and not have to worry. Totally. About it, you know. So, or you can look at it and be like. Why do you only have two hundred dollars in there, but you have like you know a thousand dollars in vacation? <laughs> Maybe right. you should well, rethink that's, something. That's exactly what it's for. It's like, where is my money flowing? What's my priorities? You know, so totally. Yep. Um, home expenses. So we live in an apartment. I don't even pay for light bulbs. So, okay. so home expenses for me is very different. Um, we it's but it's everything, right? So it's like uh, we use Grove um, for all of our like home cleaning things. Mm -hmm. um, so I just know that whenever that comes in, that goes right into that category. It's also bigger purchases like um, furniture, mm -hmm. but those happen so infrequently that I'm like, I don't, I don't want a furniture category. I don't want to split all these things out. <laughs> yeah, it's, like, it's kind like of a weird one, which is like it's that's not a thing. It's too because that's exactly why it's too specific. It doesn't happen that it's often. Too, yeah, I I. The specific ones never last in my budget. Mm. They never last. Those are the ones I got rid of when I just went through and redid my budget. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just, yeah, yeah, I didn't like the specificity. No. And it's, it, to me, it, it was like, oh, this is kind of cool to look at sometimes or, or something. But at the end of the day, it's, it, for me, it was, it, it was distracting. It wasn't yep. even helpful. It was, I needed it to mm. be consolidated. Um, Man, you're blowing so, yeah. my mind so, right now, Lee. I'm like thinking about my <laughs> and, like my categories, and I'm like, oh man, maybe I can, uh, maybe I can simplify some things. That might be nice. I was <laughs> hoping I'd blow your mind then. But will <laughs> you actually ha cause him to make a change? Uh, That's the question. Maybe like two we'll, years. We'll have a follow up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, okay, and then the next one is personal care. So personal care is. Um, Massages. I haven't had a massage in years, mm -hmm. so like I don't even know why I say that. But like massages, anything really in your bathroom. So like face moisturizer, yeah, yeah. Uh, shampoo, like anything personal, uh, haircuts. Yeah, you know stuff that is very personal, not clothing, but like uh, just personal stuff for you. Spa, if we wanted to do that. Yeah. yeah. Um, anything like that. Love it. Non medical, personal care kind of stuff. Right. All right. Um, and then, uh, the next one is, uh, recreation and leisure. 
This one's a pretty weird category, to be honest with you. I think my concept behind this one is like you're going out and doing something. Okay. You're, I see the tent you, in the tree, so you're right. camping. You're, right. You're, maybe it's the national park fee to get into the into the national park because it's that's not really exercise, but it, I mean, sure, you could go on a hike and you know. So it's it's kind of just like out and about fun things. Like I I did. Um, it's also skiing. Max and I on the Northeast, we we, we go skiing, nice. you know, over the weekend. So um, I guess it could be a sport, but that's one of those great things, right? It's like, well, it's really just kind of a leisure thing. Right. You're not it's, doing it's not it fitness. for the... It's not, it, yeah. That's exactly. It's the it's the goal behind it. You're doing this for fun. You're not doing it to, like, work exactly. out. Exactly. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Um, shopping slash stuff. That's... <laughs> Love it. Just... just that's stuff. just what this is. It's like... <laughs> You know, you buy a postcard at a at at, at after you're, you're done with your vacation. You're like, where does this go? Right. Like, what do I put a postcard a one ninety nine dollar postcard? <laughs> yeah, that's where does I'm this go? It. It literally, <laughs> that's what broke this thing too. I was like, I don't know where to put this. Um, <laughs> so I just made a category of like, but this is this is stuff that isn't in the other category. Catch so on. there are some goods that kind of happen in maybe some of the other ones. Um, but this is specifically, um, like clothing, um, mm. accessories, okay. uh, electron, if I bought an iPad and uh, an Apple watch, something like that, that's not part of like, you don't need it for anything. It's right. not really a home thing. It's just stuff, just stuff, just stuff. Love it. Also, I love calling it stuff because there's a little bit of a judgment behind that. Like uh -huh. just have less I stuff. I can see that. Have less <laughs> I can stuff, see that. You're you like, know? I'm, I'm. Yeah, you have to like categorize like, it. You're like, stop. yeah, this is stuff. You know, this is just some stuff. Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. I get it. Um, and then the last one in, in discretionary is uh, travel and vacations. This one, I used this again. I, I came to this one by having it be a category group before. Mm -hmm. um, and I just didn't really care how much it was for the airline versus the hotel totally. versus. And then I bought what really blew it up was I bought a package and I the Costco did not give me a breakout of like, oh. what was the airline? What was, You're and like, I'm what like, do I no, do? <laughs> I can't. And I like, I tried to like think about it and like, I'm like, this is mm. just dumb. Just put it in one, you know? Yeah. Um, so, so that's, that's what this, this one is. And it's, it's, it's like either probably nothing or like, you know, big amount. So right. you, it's easy to see in reports, like kind of where you've had your trips or where you've had those spendings. Love that. Question I have here. Yeah. There's no individual spending category for you or Max. Oh, yeah. No. You don't mm -mm. do that? Talk about that. Because generally, that's something we always tell folks who are budgeting with a partner. You know, have your each have a fun category. Yeah. So we – I have asked them about this because of you guys, honestly. Yeah. Um, I was like, hey – you know, we could pull one of – he has, a, he has a, like one of his own credit cards. I, I'm like, we could pull that off the budget. You could have private, you know, whatever you want there. I don't have to see. Because one thing that does come up is like, he can't buy me gifts. Right. Like, I don't it know is, buy, it's like, always I can't a problem. Even, it is. It, it's like I see everything. So I'm like, yeah. hey, that's – and he's like, no, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Mm. So, you know, I, I kind of just pitched it to him. Um, and the the fund spending really is all, always basically joint with us. Okay. Um, so I, we just didn't really have a need to like, hey, this is like kind of your money. Um, it's also the way we pool our income. So it's just all kind of, you know, if I'm spending on travel, we just don't get we don't get um, antsy with each other about right. spending. Right. And none of us are like big spenders, and we are surprise gay. So <laughs> I we can share clothing and you know right. like some of the other things and like. <laughs> You know, that, so we just you know that's something I never thought about. Like that's <laughs> yeah. that's that's a huge. You could like share your clothes. Totally. And stuff. I never. I mean, he's about okay. <laughs> I'm I'm like five. You could have five, like five. one closet. And <laughs> I mean, if you same size, right? <laughs> yeah. And he's six foot, but like somehow, like I can't wear his pants, but like uh -huh. we can share shirts, and sometimes he crams into my shoes. So like I don't know, but we just don't have. We don't. We have. A, we have some joint hobbies that we like, and but we don't. Like I don't collect coins. Like we don't have like an yeah. individual thing that that like each of us does. Although he does spend a chunk of money on Lego, so nice. that's that's always fun. He's a big Lego guy. <laughs> it's so funny. Um, I was I was doing this big Lego set. I got as a gift from somebody with my son, and I was like, and I was doing it with my son. He's seven, you know, and it was really fun time. But I'm like, I kind of want to like 
do this by myself. <laughs> and then I started looking into the adult Lego sets <laughs> and the cost of them. And I was like, never mind. <laughs> No, it's so much, man. They're they're wild. He'll literally go to the Lego store and be like, "What's my budget?" <laughs> <laughs> like none, nothing, yeah. nothing, no budget. <laughs> oh man, it's huge. Um, but yeah, so yeah, that would go in stuff. By the way, so um, okay, so the next one is I I've so this is where it kind of diverges from the needs and wants or discretionary and essential kind of spending. Because the next two cat- next two uh, groups are just big categories that I, I did need for for tracking for like all sorts of reasons mm-hmm. kind of pull it out a little bit and look into the details a little bit more also because these are large chunks um, so it, it just it felt right to kind of pull them out um, the first one is car expenses um, we have two cars we are paying them off so the first category is, is car payments. Um, we're aggressively paying them off, but we also have pretty good interest rates on them, um, okay. especially for where um, savings interest rates are and, and right. all of that. So we're moderating that and like kind of figuring out. I We do a lot of lump spending at the end of the year. That's when Max's big bonus comes in. Mm. Um, I, my bonus gets paid out through each quarter. Um, so the, a big decisions... How much are we going to make investing? It's kind of all saved to like the end of December, which is just so annoying. Um, but like, you know, some of it, that's that's where some of these big decisions come in right. about like how much are we going to pay down our debts? How much are we going to invest? Like how much are we going to like what's the net of all of this after the year? Yeah. You know, it's funny. Uh, you mentioned the savings, the saving account rates. And it's so funny because like my whole career here at YNAB. And the whole time I've been teaching people, that never mattered because interest rates were just nothing, you yeah. know? And now yep. it's like, oh. Like, it matters. It actually matters. Because if I have like a, you know, if I have like a really good rate on a car a car payment, like if I have like 4% or 3%, yep. I'm actually, I could actually get more in a savings account just letting it sit there. So like you do start to think about that, you know? Now I'm, totally. I'm all about cash flow. I, I hate dealing with I, it. But I totally know what you mean. There is like a, a moment there where it's like, eh, there's no risk at all. It's not like you're putting it in the stock market even. You know, it's, it's exactly there's something there. Yep. Yeah, yeah. And with like the loan tool in YNAB, it's great to see like how much you're going to save mm-hmm. on interest and like all that. It yeah. becomes that tool in itself becomes like a little mini budget you where you're like, wow, Apple that's like a version. savings that I would normally have. Like I, you know, yeah. So um, that's there. really fun. But I, but I do prefer cash flow until December <laughs> and then, yeah. and then maybe we'll, we'll, we'll have a conversation. Well, I like that. Like you, you, you yeah. maybe save that money in a savings account until the end of the year and be like, do we want to pay off the car? Exactly. You know, yep. and, and you get all the savings until then, at least. Totally. So, and the cash flow and, and like anything else that comes up or, you know, some whatever. Hmm. That takes a ton of discipline. I mean, I'm just like, if I have the extra cash flow and I have debt, there's this temptation to just get rid of it, like pay it off. But Man, there I'm is a calculation though. Yeah, I know, I know what you mean for sure. I, I mean, it it does take restraint, believe me. <laughs> <laughs> it definitely okay. does. But it, it it because I like because I'm doing all of this, uh, it, it gives me the freedom to think that way, which is just unbelievable. That like I can reserve these things and I can think about interest rates and I can think about all of that. And we're, we're gonna get into like. Um, like how I handle taxes and, and all of that and why not completely empowered me with that. And so yeah. anyway, that, that's, that's kind of how we, we net out with our, with our car payments. Okay. Um, next one is enhancements. This is another one where I'm like, I, I hate this name. I don't know what, what I, it's I'm like so one intrigued. of those things where it needs to be like, it needs to be all encompassing cause it's kind of a weird category. Mm-hmm. So this is, um, detailing this okay. is like if we wanted to put in a new stereo system or get new tires or track t- or whatever it is th- that's not required for it to be running right that goes in here so i would say that that's the discretionary part of this category group mm-hmm. the rest of them you don't eat what well, you have a choice in that like you don't have to buy a car or have two but um <laughs> You, you know, like the other ones you kind of agreed to. So those are coming out. Yeah. Um, next one is gas and maintenance. I just put this on. It used to be operating costs. It's just basically what it costs to run the car the way we're, we're, we're driving it. 
Um, so pretty simple there. We don't, ours are on warranties, so there's just really not much maintenance saving there, anything like that. It, the, the maintenance costs are just basically nothing. Um, it's really gas costs that are, and Massachusetts gas is like, bet. wow. Yeah, it's a lot. Oh, oh, oh man. <laughs> um, so... And then the next one is owning costs is another category name that I don't really love, but like I don't really know what to do. We pay excise tax here, so that goes in here. Um, the registration is in here. Uh, insurance is in here. I just think of that as a fee. It's just an owning cost. Like you have to have insurance. Yep. I don't have Cadillac or whatever. They, like really awesome insurance. It's just like, you know, they, so there's no real fungibility in, in, in this one. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then parking and tolls, we we do, Boston's kind of a driving city. Yeah, weirdly. I was gonna say um, I'm sure it's a lot in mm, Boston. Yeah, it, it's sad. The T is sad. The T just doesn't go where you want it to go. And I I love I we 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 lived in New York for for a while, and I love public transportation. But man, Boston public transportation is just like no. There's a whole story there uh, about about I I started listening to this podcast about the big dig. Um, and oh. it was, it's, it's fascinating, <laughs> but it's a whole thing. I live it 93 every day. <laughs> My God. I like, it can be 1 PM on a Sunday and there is traffic. Oh, always. This is always traffic. Oh, this is always traffic. Yeah. It's terrible. It's terrible. So we, we broke out parking. We have to pay for parking in our, um, uh, in our building. Um, and then like any street parking or, you know, sometimes, uh, Max drives into work. Mm-hmm. Um, although he usually takes the ferry. Um, and uh, so that's that's where all that kind of goes. Cool. Got it. Yep. The next one that's kind of pulled out as well from the needs and wants is uh, food and drink. Um, so the first one is bars and booze. Nice. Um, Love that. My Great husband name. is German. <laughs> my husband is German. Loves his beer. Loves his loves, loves, loves. Um, so I, I like to, because it's... You know, it's, it, I, I pulled this one out because I like to differentiate and also know, like, hey, whoa, we got to maybe lay on, you know, <laughs> like, rethink, you know. It's a good, it's a good thing to, like, have a, a, a real handle on, at least for, for, for me. I just, you know, it doesn't, um, it, yeah, just, just for tracking purposes, I, I, I pulled that one out. Okay. Um, and then groceries. Groceries. So this is where some of the split transactions start to come in because if we buy booze with groceries, I do say save all those grocery receipts um, mm-hmm. and we'll split out. Like if we have alcohol, I won't get super crazy into all the taxes, but I just kind of like, uh, it's about that, you know. That's surprisingly because because you're so broad with everything else, but you do split the I, the food and non food thing, right? I yeah. There's some things where I'm like, I need to know. I mm-hmm. use split transactions a lot. Honestly, I do. Yeah. Um, but there's just some things where I'm like, that doesn't, I need it. There's got to be, there's two things like an Amazon, like yeah. what you get on Amazon. It's like, oh my God, at least there's a record for, on Amazon where right. I could like go back at any point and just be like, what was that? But yeah, but groceries are just, they're gone. Whoop. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> you never know. And yeah. you know, if, if you got a big haul of like beer at the grocery store, that's not coming out of my grocery Yeah, budget. that's totally like, different. No. Like that's not, just, yeah, it's a whole, no, that's a whole different no, no. thing. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. That's, I, yeah, I, I feel like I'll never. As much as I love consolidating, and I'm really intrigued. I feel like I'll always separate out my grocery my grocery transactions. Totally, yeah. And like, if we buy personal goods like multivitamins or anything like mm-hmm. that, will go into personal care. Like, so I do look at the. That's like a big one that I that I'll I'll look at and and split it out. Uh, the last one in food and drink is restaurants. So this is also DoorDash, Uber Eats. Any this is just anything or... that's not you're making it yourself. Um, in fact, if I go down and get brownies at the corner store because I love them, nice. I will include that in restaurants, even though it's at a market. But I will uh-huh. include that at restaurants because yeah, it's like, like, no, that's the vibe is restaurants, even though it's it's not kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, this is this is just obviously for everyone's but everybody's budget. Restaurants is 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 a, a thing. Yes. Um, so yes. Uh, it is a thing for us as well. Um, food is just incredibly expensive, but also incredibly delicious in Boston. So um, and we you know, it's more. But it, it, none of this is honestly, we don't we don't budget to guilt at all. Like mm-hmm. if, if, if the money's there, you're making the, the, the consideration of moving money from here to there. And if mm-hmm. you've done that, well, 
that's your priority then, you know, that's, and we get so much more out of restaurants. It's not just us being lazy and going out and eating. It's yeah. meeting up with friends. It's all sorts of, of fun things. So there's really none of this is structured for us to feel bad about anything. Well, and in that. fact, all the naming is is pretty considered as well because I don't want any negative, like discretionary is like kind of borderline. I'm like, uh, but it's just like optional spending. It's not right. like bad spending and good spending. Exactly. You know, it's yeah, just, so it's good. just, um, so, so yeah, that's kind of how I look at food and I, I break, break both of those car and, and food out into these separate category groups. Yeah. I can sense that in the, just in the naming, like just calling it food and drink, it's, it feels nice, you know, yeah. like you're kind of being like kind to yourself. There. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> neutral. Neutral. Like, yes. just, yeah, I know what you mean. Cause that is one thing that I love about YNAB is like it, 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 you don't feel bad about spending. You don't mm-hmm. want to spend. Right? Like, it does a weird thing. It's like, it removes the guilt of spending, but then you're like, do I want to? Yeah. And then you're like, about, no, I don't want to. It's only about what you want. Yeah, exactly. Yes, and just exactly. making sure that you're actually doing what you want and not what you totally. don't want. You know? So, that's so good. Um, okay. And then, last, well, we'll get into transfers. That's a fun <laughs> one. Um, essential costs. So, this is just boring. We'll, we'll, we'll really roll Flat through this one. Is, yeah. um, okay. I did the first one, cash and sundries. Sundries. Yes. Sundries. Is. I heard That's a good it. Word. I heard it. And honestly, like I had played around it because you guys mentioned this, I don't know, month, years, who knows? Ago. Time is and all time, what is, what is time? <laughs> um and I was like, oh, that's a that's a cool word. I, and I wrote it down in a notepad because I'd never heard of the word at all. But it's for anything. It's just like a cool, like kind of catch-all thing. Mm-hmm. Um, but recently I added it just because. This category is, I used to call it cash spending, uh-huh. but then it kind of became a little bit different than that. It wasn't just like you went to the ATM and pulled out a bunch of cash and it just went away. Right. It was like, oh, you bought a water bottle at the gym. Mm-hmm. What is, like like a, a plastic disposable water bottle, which I, I try not to do, but like, what is that? That's not right. really groceries. It's not really a restaurant. So yeah, there's like it's a kind of either. It's it's kind of yeah. Yeah, it's just like in there. Just so stuff, it, you know, random it's, things that aren't like clothes and that kind of thing. Yeah, it's like cash spending and water bottles. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why the emoji is that person yeah, kind of shrugging. Like, Ooh, yeah. I, don't know. <laughs> yeah. I used to call it um, uncategorized, and that just felt too formal. So yeah, that's I that's that. like I kind of okay. I kind of moved it to this. Um, okay, so here's a great example, the next one, of like where I removed like negative connotations. Mm. This is called education, not student loans. Because oh. I don't, I, so I don't have student loans. Max does have student loans. Um, and I don't like seeing debt and, yeah. and like, the, and, and honestly, it's, that is good debt. It is what is enabling him to make the income that he makes totally, now totally. and be where he is. And it's like accomplishments and it's all of these things. And it's really just that his education. Um, you know, if I ever did, he's, he's, so he's German and Norwegian, not an American citizen. Okay. And I've tried a bunch of times to kind of see if I can learn as an old guy these some of these languages. And so right. like if I ever took like a German class, it could go in here. But right okay. now it's it's, it's just loans. it's just the loans. Yep. Lee, I just love how you're you're taking those negative emotions out because it, yep. it seriously matters. Like how do you feel when you are looking at your personal finances matters yeah totally it really does it definitely does and it's a small things it's like brain tricks it really yes. is that's exactly Do a little it. few little brain tricks and like make yourself feel good it's it, it'll be way better you'll yeah. smile a whole lot yeah, more yeah you're not paying on when I mean, you are paying loans but you're not like you're not paying oh it's that you're paying for a thing that you actually love to yeah. have spent money on you know so that's great so cool yep um so the next one is healthcare. Healthcare is it's boring. It's just medical, like anything out of pocket. Mm-hmm. Um, if I get a cavity filled and the insurance didn't pay for it all, like they would come out of here. Mm-hmm. We don't. We're, we're lucky. We don't have any prescription drugs. Um, that, but like if we did, it would go in here. Mm-hmm. Um, blood work, like anything, anything like that, kind of boring stuff. Yeah. Luckily, right now that is one of our smallest categories. Nice. So, ho- hopefully that. Hopefully it stays that way. <laughs> That'd be good. <laughs> mm-hmm. The next one um, is income taxes, 
So because of YNAB, I don't, I always get charged a tax bill at the end. And I'll tell you why. I'd rather have the all, I'd rather have less withholding mm -hmm. and hang on to my cash right. longer than the government does. And I can budget now. So, so I don't need it. to Ooh, yeah. have them pull out more so that they can budget for me. Right. No, 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 no. So I'm fine with it. Honestly, like, and it, it flopped. It feels like some people are like, oh my God, my tax bill, like, duh. It's like, no, it's, it, you're paying the same, whether you take yeah, it out you're in your paycheck or, or, you, or you pay it when it's due, it's the same. The difference is the interest. Maybe it's small, but it, the interest that it accrues over that time that you're holding it versus when the, you know, the, 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 the government's holding it. So yeah. I just do that. I put the least amount of withholdings and then just have a tax bill and I'm okay with that. Yeah. I'm like really okay with that. And it's also part of the reason why I have that, you know, big chunk of savings, the savings fund that floats through. Um, because I don't really know. I mean, maybe I'll base the target on what happened last year, you know, but then it, it'll actualize in, in April and, yeah. It so, yeah. so that's, that's that one. Yeah. This um, is more where, agency, I think, you know, right. Mm -hmm. Empowering like, Hey, yeah. I can, I can handle my escrow better than the bank <laughs> can. Exactly. It's the same and kind of vibe. It's the same kind of vibe. <laughs> I used, and I used to go through H and R block and they used to do the thing. And then I had one, they screwed up really bad. Oh, no. I mean, I was like, oh, I, hate H&R Block. I hate them. Um, I shouldn't say hate. I shouldn't say hate. I really dislike them. I really dislike H&R Block. Enough. But I, but because of that and because of YNAB, I'm like, you know what? I can tackle my taxes. Like, yeah. we're not, like, it's not, we don't have crazy taxes. We don't even have property. So it's, you know, right. I, why can't I do it? And I did it this year. So thanks, YNAB. Way to go. I love awesome. that. Awesome. Yeah. Love that. Totally. Um, Okay, so my dogs. Yes. I was They're wondering when they were going to come up. <laughs> <laughs> for 30 minutes. Notice that they are an essential mm -hmm. because whatever they want, they get. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> um, their names are, I just put their names because I'm like, you know, like anything other than their names would be just ridiculous there. So right. I, Lena is the black, I don't know if you're going to show a video, uh, a photo, but she's the black one. And Lucy's the, the cute little brown nugget. Um <laughs> And they, they're pretty healthy. They, they're they six and seven, five, six, something like that. Mm -hmm. um, so not dogs, too many so health issues. Last yeah. Because for my dog, my great day, and that's an old dog, you know? <laughs> but for, for them, that, you know, that's, yeah. not, that's not too old. <laughs> yeah, Max's parents, Dachshund, lived to like 16. Wow. Or, or even older than that. Oh, and have been mauled and run really over. And, oh, oh, my goodness. They're just, they're just, they're, they're crazy dogs. They're so cute. Um. So yeah, so they're, they're whatever. These just get funded, honestly. It's it. There's no real like uh, like. There's no like. Oh, I'm excited to spend in healthcare. It's just like, well, it happened. Like yep. that's what it is, you know. Right. Um. So yeah, that's that's my and just my, a fixed amount that you put in. Is that like a monthly savings builder? So we haven't talked about the targets at all. Mm -hmm. I. <sighs> Man, you might need to cut this part out <laughs> because it does get a little bit weird. The way I um, look at progress and hold myself accountable in the budget is so at the end of every month, I take all of my available money in all of my categories except for the revolving debt. So credit cards and line of credit or whatever, whatever it is, mm -hmm. and zip it up into the savings fund category. Right, right. Hold that all that over, and then, and then um, re-budget out everything with the new amount. So if I've underspent, I get a little bit more in that account the next month. Mm -hmm. So because here's the thing, I don't, I I don't know where my head was two months ago. I there's no point in me going back two months and being like, oh, I have. Five hundred dollars in this one, and I have I have no well, I don't know what that was. But what is important to me is like how much did you at the end of the month? Like what was what did you have? What was like what was your cash? And seeing in the total up there is for me like I, that's motivating. Um, and also the what it does to the targets it allows me to kind of budget throughout the the year and change that. 
Right. Because if I go back to January and I change the template and then I'm like carrying stuff, I've tried all of these things. Yeah. And this one just kind of works. It's cleanest. Right. Just zip it all up into one category and then disperse it in the next month. Wow. Yeah. Boy. Yeah. I, that's kind of mind blowing. Think about that. that. Is, Think about yes. that. I, I'd be happy like after the call to share my screen and you guys can see like what, what I do. Because like it, 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 it is one of the things that I try to break YNAB on, which is targets. Uh -huh. Because I... What YNAB doesn't do for targets, which I wish it did, was it doesn't say you, it, it just allows overspending. It just allows you to kind of, well, you spent a little bit more in that. So it doesn't give you like right. a, a real cap on it. Uh -huh. And this way, I, I, like I've manufactured that, if that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, 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 it makes sense. Yeah. You know what I mean? Totally. Yeah. Yeah, you want like a certain amount every month. Um, and that's like the real amount, not the not and, money rolling over. And because we have pretty good cash flow, things will get funded, Yeah. right? Yeah. So I don't have to get super nitty gritty into like, I have you know X amount in this category. It's more like, okay, so now after this month is done, I'm looking ahead to the next month and to the rest of the year, how much-ish do I think I might need? It's more to say, you don't have that money, you know? Right. That's more what I want my, as we flow through the month, I want it to say, you obviously credit card spending don't touch that's yep. you that, i pay in full every month mm -hmm. it just is on yeah, auto pay for it. done you know that's never that's never zipped up but everything else i'm kind of like nah just zip it up and then redistribute right. it and with the new goal and you're like oh wow i really underspent or i overspent so now i have less this month than i did the previous month and then it flows that way this and then that mindset. allows me to I think this is a yeah. mindset you need to have because you have a, a lot of cash flow. So, like, if, if you let it build, it would almost get to be too much. Is that kind it, of what? And it and meaningless and totally mm. meaningless to me. It mm. doesn't. It, it it doesn't really. It doesn't matter to me like what I had it reserved for my dogs in February. Right. You know, kind of thing. Yep. Um, that's, that's super. Interesting. So yeah, it's kind of a hack. Yeah. But I I well, it, it like matches played your around mental little. model that you need. Because uh, and, and I I think I think that I really think that this is a key piece of having a higher income, uh, where it, it does make make sense because otherwise uh, it would get a little messy. You know what I mean? <laughs> so that's and you know you can tell I do not like messy. No <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. messy here. Keep no it. messy. Keep, Keep it. it tight. Yes, exactly. Uh, I love it. Um, so yeah, that that's kind of the way, and it also allows me to at the end of the month kind of see where my cash goal is and like that changes too. So it's all, it all kind of works together somehow for me. Um, okay. So the, the, the next category is rent payments. Boring. Just rent. Well, tell us uh, the priority there. I mean, cause most folks we talk to they're, they own their home. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I mean, I have to pay my rent. So yep. it's, you know, it's that gets funded. So that is, I still do, though, weirdly, I don't do every month the same amount. I do multiply. I just go into the into the target. And the, the, the easiest thing is how much you want to pay a month times by 12. You start in January. Boom. It's done. Calculated. Enter. You, just, you don't even need to click enter. Just hit enter. And you have everything divided up already for you. Mm. And then it also just makes those progress bars just so much prettier, just yes. so much better. That's what so it's anyway. all about, making it neat. I know, <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Exactly. Um, so yeah, rent, rent is, uh, you know, we, we just came up on our renewal. Um, and, you know, because of all of what we do here, we, they, they wanted to raise our rates and we're like, no, you know, don't this, this, and this, and this. And so like, we it, it's funny how th those are the extrapolations onto your life, right? Where you're like, no, I don't want to pay more money in this thing. Like, how can I, I'm going to fight a little bit harder, or I'm going to think about this a little bit more, or, you know, I'm not going to just say, yeah, I guess inflation, sure. Rent's going up, you know, that kind of thing. Um, so we did and we didn't get it raised as much. So, you know, another one of those things that it just kind of flips your brain into another dimension. Absolutely. There's a line right there. Why not? Yeah. Flip your brain into another dimension. <laughs> um, okay. And then, okay. Services and services and fees. 
So this is a weird one too. I mean, I guess mine are all weird when you want it to be this clean. Right. They're just some like kind of weird, but that's okay. Like maybe someday you feel like that's a service or that's a that and you whatever. And then you just move on. Um, but service and fees. So these are like credit card, um, okay. you know, membership stuff, anything that's not directly. So like Amazon Prime okay. is in here. Anything that's like a service, it's not really, you didn't buy anything right. yet from Amazon. Sure, it in, it enables you to buy stuff from Amazon, but like you haven't, that's not what that fee is. Um, like if I got my shoe repaired, uh, dry cleaning, mm -hmm. it's stuff, non-sexy stuff that's not stuff. It's just stuff you have to do, yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, uh, mailing, like postcard, like anything, you know, if I had to ship something, anything like that kind of goes in there. Cool. I'm curious, does, uh, you mentioned Amazon Prime, does uh, your White House subscription go in there too? Or is that is this like a subscriptions category? So it does, actually. Okay. It goes in here. It's an essential. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Love it. Love it. <laughs> it is. And I pay through iTunes. So just, yep, just, just pop right it in through. here. Nice. Yep. All right. Um, the next one is transportation. And this is differentiated from cars. Uh, this is the ferry that my husband takes in to work every morning. This is the T if we ever do get on the T. Um, also Uber though, because we don't yeah. use Uber in excess. So it's kind of like, feels essential. Yeah. you just have to get there. You have, there's no choice. Like, you, you know, you, you can't always be driving or, or whatever. Or maybe you're drinking at the place and mm -hmm. you need a Uber back or, or whatever. So to me, Uber is essential. Um, getting to and from the airport, like anything like that is, is, um, is goes in, goes in there. Yeah. Love it. Makes sense. Like kind of the good transportation, the non <laughs> killing the earth transportation or the better the earth thing, <laughs> right. you know? So yeah. all the public stuff. Yeah, exactly. Um, the next one is super boring utilities and phone that is gas, water, trash. Um, my, our Verizon bill, mm -hmm. um, Phone, I have pulled out phone and put it back in there, and it just it feels like a utility to me. Yeah, I, I would. I was gonna say I, you could probably just call it utilities and keep your phone in there. You know, I know. I, it's like communications. Out, my brain is weird. My brain is just. <laughs> it doesn't quite I don't know. fit. I, well, I, I get it. it. It doesn't feel like it's like it's not like a water bill, but it, right. it's like kind of a utility. I know what you mean. It's not quite the same. Yeah. So I, but it's like kind of same. But I needed to call it out in the title. <laughs> yeah. Also, it does make the the row a little more aligned because if you just had utilities that would be too short you know <laughs> so. i i do think about i do think about the length i do <laughs> there's some times where i'm like that's too short it looks weird on the page yep, it would stand out I, it would i, I definitely do i definitely do um so yeah that's those are my essential costs cool um nice. any any questions on like the traditional type of spending? No, I think we covered pretty much everything. Anything you wanted to add there, Ernie? No, that that's great. Yeah, awesome. Um, so the last one that I have here, and I, I, there's also the credit cards. So right. I don't think we need to get into those, but it's fine. Yeah, credit card cards um, is a thing. Done. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I just those are super simple, untouchable. It. I love the YNAB. I, it feels like cash. I know that there's this whole credit card debate going on. Mm -hmm. I have my thoughts on it too. <laughs> I think credit cards are a little gross. I do. Oh, you're like, like me. It, I thought you were well, going to say you were the other way. <laughs> I, so I, I mean, we live in this world. I have credit cards. Right, right. Kind of thing, exactly. you know. But I do find it kind of disgusting that like rewards are paid out to people like me because other people are in debt. Like that, mm -hmm. it feels kind of weird. I don't know. So, but uh, we we do. I'm I'm thinking about it. When I first heard Jesse say that, I'm like. Be crazy. That's not, <laughs> what? No, no. I don't know. For me, I don't think it. I, I disagree with him on it spending it, m inspiring me to spend more. Sure. It does not do that to me. Yeah. It just does not do that to me. Mm -hmm. I don't. I think about it like well, cash especially if to you're using YNAB, it's it's practically a debit card at that point. Yes. You know? So totally. Yeah. And I, you know, I monitor our, our, the fees and all that kind of stuff. And I don't pay any. Obviously, I don't pay any interest. It's just paid in full. Auto payments. I don't think about it. Mm -hmm. It used to be a bill to me. Right. The credit cards mm. used to be a bill to me. Now they're not a bill. <laughs> Is that it's like not a bill. It's, it's just like, like I yeah. do manage my, like I said, I manage my checking account cash flow. But like, you know, if you didn't do that, then you died. And in this, I would, I would 
just always have that money. Well, that's so the great. mindset shift that Wind Up does is because so many people think of it. Oh, it's I got I pay my electric mm-hmm. bill and my my car payment and I pay my car credit card bill. You know, and mm-hmm. it's and so much is encapsulated in credit card bill, and it just like kind of hides all your spending like all your spendings are sitting you know be <laughs> in this like whole this credit card bill thing so totally yeah yep. it, it really is a big transformation to think of it as a payment method not a bill so totally and I, that was one of the things that just stagged me on YNAP when i mm. when i first did it, it was like wow that makes so much sense nice. like well, what, <laughs> what um so okay so transfers and holds are um well, probably doesn't need holds anymore. I used I was playing around with tracking points even. I was like, this is too weird. Oh, and okay. then I was just just in a very just basic like, way. Like transfer, just like yeah, so one like, the like in the be. month. There's always that month in YNAB when you start YNAB that's like kind of the messy month where like yeah. the the starting balances are all there and you're like, ah, this, <laughs> nah. Um so like I I put all of like the 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 um the values of the points, not if it was 50 bucks, but like some, I have some serious Marriott points. Uh-huh. And um, so I'm like, oh, maybe it'll inspire me to like, you know, use them. Right. It's <laughs> right, right and, in front of your face. It's like, yeah. hey, you have money, <laughs> right? Exactly. Exactly. If you convert it into cash like in your mind, it, it makes totally. it harder not to spend them. Yeah. And like the points guy, there's so many great things for like the stuff. He like will do the calculations. Mm. He as if he's a person. But, you know, like, um, so I don't know. I So that's why holds is on there. I probably should edit that. But um, I, I, I used to also um, kind of track cash. Not in a super way, but where like if someone gave me a five hundred dollar gift card as a birthday a gift, I'm yeah. kind of like, oh, I kind of want that if to it's be a in big my chunk budget. Of money. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you know, just like it feels good to put new money into the to the budget. Mm-hmm. Um, but basically, what this is is are, are just transfers through the budget, not through like budget to obviously budget to tracking or anything like that. It's just um, or like checking to savings or anything. It's just the first one, reimbursements, is this is for big stuff. Mm-hmm. So, for example, I was going to get my yoga teacher training in, I signed up for it in February of 2020. Okay. Didn't pan out, obviously. Right. Yeah, pandemic. that was not a. <laughs> and I put <laughs> a deposit down. Uh, uh, you know, I think it was $1,000. I put a $1,000 deposit. Obviously, all of that was canceled. Right. Um, and then months later, it came back to me. And I'm like, oh, that's not income. Right. I don't want to have positive report spending. Like, ooh, I don't. That's, that's right. weird to me. Right, you don't like the, the positive. And in, so, in the to me, report. that didn't really happen. But it happened on the budget. So I put both of those transactions, and so reimbursements always nets out to be zero. Right. Always Got zero. Got it. And I get a little crazy on this one, too, like where I'm like, oh, God, I shouldn't be looking at, you know, two ninety nine for example, that came in this morning. I do split out, like, if you get an ATM fee, my checking account reimburses all the fees. Mm-hmm. So I will literally split out the fee. I do the same thing. I do the same into thing. Into reimbursements because well, it's to, not because spending. It's, yeah, otherwise it would just be wrong and horrible. Exactly. And your life would fall apart because... I wouldn't know where to go. It's I wrong. Wouldn't... Yeah. I do the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, so that's kind of what that... That is for big kind of things where, like, if someone, like I said, if someone pays me back um, for, you know, reimburses me for a restaurant, that just goes into that category. Okay. Uh, but this is for like bigger ones. Big stuff, yeah. Mm-hmm. And then um, uh, work remittance. So this is any work expenses that I know that are my that I'm spending on my personal account, but will be reimbursed to me. And it, I used to have these in one. But just one sad little lonely category and a grouping just felt wrong. Uh-huh. Also, uh-huh. it's kind of nice. nice. Yes. That, you can't Honestly, have one category by no. itself. It just no, doesn't no. feel right. It's so lonely it and sad. It's yeah. so lonely. <laughs> and, uh, but I, I do find it helpful, though, as well, when I'm doing my expense reports for work um, to refer back to this, honestly. Mm. Um, and I, I can easily, like, it, it's just a, everyone dreads putting in their work expenses, but I, I'm like, oh, I love it. I love it. <laughs> um, so, so yeah, that's what those, those two categories are. And then I have my credit cards. Makes so. sense. Makes sense. Nice. Okay. Is that all of them then? Yeah. All I right. think so. 
That is incredible. Your the way you've structured things and named them just makes so much sense. Like I seriously want to sign off, Very go into my budget <laughs> and just start reconsidering everything again. <laughs> I love that. Yep. And I bet I you a bunch of people will be doing that. <laughs> I do that with you guys all the time. I like, I like, I'll usually like have you, have you on in the background while I'm cleaning. No offense, but like, you know, just doing <laughs> other things. And like, you're just kind of in my ear and I'm like, Oh my God, I need to listen to this. I love your conversation on targets mm, because oh targets are essential to me in this in this whole process it's just the way to keep you honest mm -hmm. um so I, I i really lean into our everything has targets on them i use focus views now as well i when that was first released um i was like eh, yeah what, what am i gonna do one. with this yeah because <laughs> like for example recent moves never i never look in recent moves. okay never Okay. I, I don't know what that tells me. I have no idea. I, right. I, I, like, what, what what was I doing? What did I move? Like, it's always moving. Right. Um, so there's some things, but I love that because I can I can look into specific, like, groupings that I might want to see, like only my credit cards or everything that has a target on it. Because, for example, transfers and holds doesn't have any targets on it. So I don't really need to be looking at that all day. So I actually really like focused views. Mm. Um so, yeah. Well, Ben and I both, we love your budget. And I think more importantly than just how clean and mm. how much it makes sense, it just highlights your priorities. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's obvious what matters to you and Max, and that's what it's all about. Well, Lee, this has been absolute delight you are a delightful person and you have delightful categories <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> so thank you so much for sharing with us and just opening up and i think you're giving everybody a lot to think about so appreciate Good. you thank you I'm, I'm so happy to do it thank you guys for having me and folks as always if you want to comment about this episode you got the comment section in youtube otherwise you can reach out via email budget nerds at winab.com thanks so much for checking in for another show we'll see you in a couple weeks bye